Hi, this is a sample video when I am going to explain how to get the data from SQL Server in Power BI. For that, I open the Power BI. So the Power BI desktop has got open. Where the Power BI desktop is going to have three things. One is called as a Power Query Editor window that can be opened by clicking on Transform Data. When I click on Transform Data, the Power Query Editor window gets opened. In this particular window, generally what we do is we can extract the data from different sources by clicking on New Source button. When I click on New Source button, there is an option of More where we can get the data from different sources. Here we can see 150 plus different sources are available where we can extract the data and then we click on connect button apart from this even we can perform a lot of transformations in the power query editor window like we can remove the misspelled data remove the duplicate data converting the data merging the data splitting the data you can perform a lot of uh, data cleansing work in this particular power query editor window once the transformation has been done whenever i click on close and apply the complete data will be stored from the power query to the ram the complete data from the Power Query Editor window will be loaded into the Power Pivot model which is called as a RAM. So this is the Power Pivot model and this Power Pivot model is going to have two things. One is called as a data modeling where we can create a relationship between the tables and here this is nothing but a table view where we can see our data. And the third one is called as a power view where we can create a lot of visualizations like charts, graph, reports, etc. And the main agenda in this particular video is where I need to extract the data from the SQL Server. For that, I open a SQL Server Management Studio. Yeah, the window got open. Now the server name, I'm giving it as dot where I'm connecting to my default uh, SQL Server and I click on connect button. Now here you can go to a databases and I can see all the databases. Now I want to work on AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database and in this I have lot of tables. Now if I want to see the data in this particular tables, for example if I want to see the data in Dim Geography table, I right click on this particular table and give it as select a top 1000 rows. Now you can get the data from this particular table like how many columns are there, what exactly the data present in this particular table. Apart from that even you can write a simple query. You have to point to the database first. I'm pointing to the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database. After pointing to the database, I write a query as select select a star from dim geography table. Now where I can see the data in this particular table. Now the thing is I need to get the, this particular tables into the Power BI. So to do that, I go to the transform data. I click on transform data. I click on new source and I connect to the SQL server now. So I give the server name as dot and the database name is optional. But here I'm taking the database name as AdventureWorks Data Warehouse Database Copy it and give it here. Now when I give this particular database name, now when I click on this uh, OK button, I can see the tables which are present in this particular database. But before doing that, if you see here, we have three types, we have uh, data connectivity modes like one is import and the other one is direct query. First of all, we will see what is an import and direct query mode. Import is generally used like when we have less amount of data. Like uh, I'll be showing here, like whenever we are getting the data from the Excel files or a flat files or whenever we get the data from the XML files or when we get the data from PDF, etc. By default, it is using an import mode. By default, it is using an import mode. So generally, uh, when we use an import mode, all the data from the files will be extracted, transformed and loaded into the power pivot that is RAM. And generally we use an import mode when we have less amount of data. That is whenever we have less than 10 GB of data, we use an import mode. For example, let us say this Excel file have 100 GB of data. 
now in the power bi i try to extract the data from the excel file and in the power query editor window i perform some transformations after performing the transformations now all the compressed data will be loaded into the power pivot that is ram so the maximum size where the power pivot can handle is 10 gb so whenever we do this particular process it is going to load the complete table structure like we can have a table names we can have a column names and we can have a data in the power bi now apart from that if i go with the direct query Mode. Direct query in the sense like whenever if you are getting the data from the SQL Server or if you get the data from any RDBMS softwares like Oracle, uh, PostGRE, Netezza, etc. And apart from that, if you get the data from the data warehouse databases, by default it can be used an import mode or a direct query mode. It can use an import mode or direct query mode. direct query mode generally when we when we have to use an import mode and when we have to use direct query mode is i take a small example here let us say i have a sql database in the sql database let us say i have some files where it have 100 gb of data i have 100 gb of data now i try to load this particular data into me into the power bi now in the power bi i started extracting the data and in the power query i perform some transformations after performing some transformations i try to load the data into the power pivot model whenever i am trying to load the data into the power pivot model the maximum size where the power pivot can handle is only 10 gb now all the compressed data will be there in the 10 gb and i can perform a lot of uh, visualizations in the power view part now apart from that let us say if i have a if i am getting the data from the sql database as 300 gb of data i am getting the data from the sql server database as 300 gb of data now i have extracted the data in the power bi and i have performed some transformations in the power query editor window after performing the transformations i try to load this data into the power pivot model where it is 30 gb now we know that the maximum size where the power pivot can handle is only 10 gb so there is no more size to extract the data so in that case it is going to use a direct query mode it is going to use a direct query mode but in this case it can use an import mode because where it can the maximum size where the power pivot can handle is 10 gb so it is using an import mode when it uses an import mode it loads a complete table structure means it is going to have a table schema as well as the data table schema as well as the data but whenever it is using a direct query mode because the power pivot can handle only 10 gb but now all the compressed data what we get what we are getting is 30 gb so when we get 30 gb of data the power pivot cannot store 30 gb of data in that case uh, it uses a direct query mode where the direct query mode is going to have only a table schema like we can see a table names and column names but there is no data I'll be showing you some examples related to this also. I'll be showing, uh, taking a sample uh, tables from the SQL Server database, uh, and I'll be showing it now. And apart from that, we have the third connectivity mode as a live connection. So this live connection generally we use this live connection like whenever we extract the data from the Power BI uh, service level. whenever we extract the data sets from the power bi service level in that case the live connection will be established and apart from that like whenever we are getting the data sets from the power bi service levels and apart from that uh, whenever we are getting the data from the ssas tabular model cube or whenever we are getting the data from the ssas uh, multi dimensional model cube in that case the live connection will be established so these are the three types of data connectivity modes what we have i'll be showing a practical example based on the import and direct query also the first one we will see with an import mode when i click on import mode and when i click on okay button so you can see the database name as adventure works and you can see all the tables which are present in this particular database now right now i want to work uh, i'll be taking this dim geography table i'll be taking with dim product table etc i'm taking these two tables so now we can see dim geography as well as dim product 
So if you see here dim geography table, we have so many columns in this dim geography table. I want to apply some transformations like removing some columns in this particular table. So instead of doing in this power query editor window, I want to perform the transformations in the SQL server itself. Even I can do that. So I open the SQL server. Now I go with this particular geography table. Now instead of having these many number of columns, I want to take only few columns. So what I do here is I write a simple query to remove the columns now. I go with this particular geography table. I take the columns. I drag and drop all the columns. Now I got all the columns. I'll be removing some columns here. So let us check with that. I need geography key column. I need city column. I don't need state province code. I'll be removing it. I need state province name. I'll be giving an alias of state. And I don't need country region code. I remove it. I need English country region name. I take that particular column. I don't need Spanish country region name. French country region name. I remove it. I take the postal code. I don't need the sales territory key. So I remove this particular column. I need only five columns from this particular table. I execute it. Now I can see geography key, city, state, English country region name and postal code. This five columns from this particular table I need to get into the Power BI. So what I do is instead of performing all the transformations here, what I do, I close it. I don't want to perform any transformations here. So what I do is I open the Power BI, I click on get data, I go to the SQL server. Now I give the server name as dot and I connect to the database name first. I go to the database name. I copy this database name and I paste it here. Now I'll be showing an example by going with an import mode. Uh, instead of going in import mode, now I need to take a query here because I perform some transformation in the SQL server itself. So I'll be taking this query. I copy the query. Now I go to the Power BI. I go with an advanced option. I click on advanced option. You can write the queries here in the SQL statement queries. You can write it here. And now I click on OK button. I click on load. I don't want to apply any transformations. Directly I click on load so that the complete data will be stored into the RAM that is in the power pivot model. And even I click on apply changes once it get loaded. So you get a table name as query1. Now you can rename this particular table to dim geography table. First I rename this table to dim geography table. Or you can give it as a geography table. I have given the table name. So once I give a table name, you can see the five columns in this particular table. So whatever the five columns we have written in the query, that column names you can see in this particular table. Right now, I can see the data in this particular table by clicking on table view. And even you can create visualizations in this particular power view part. So we have seen like how to use a query to get into the power BI. So we have seen like how to use a query to get into the power BI and finally we have prepared the data set. Now once we prepare the data set, now we can create lot of visualizations by clicking on report view or a power view and we can uh, use this visualizations uh, and then we can finally done with the reporting part. Now apart from that now I want to create a data set using stored procedure. Now whenever I want to create a data set using stored procedure, what I do is again I go with the get data. So uh, I go with the get data. I go with the SQL server. I give the server name as dot and I give this particular database name as uh, adventure works data warehouse database. I give this database. Now I want to uh, write a stored proc uh, query here. Instead of writing a complete query, I want to perform some transformation and I want to write a uh, proc here. So how to create a proc and how to call a proc that 
we do it in the sql server now what i do here is um, i go with a new query and i go with this uh, adventure works data warehouse database and i go with a table called dim customer table now i want to uh, create a proc on this particular table so what i do here is i am in this particular database itself adventure works data warehouse database now i create a proc create proc i am writing some proc name as usp underscore customers customer i write as as begin now i write select uh, what are the column names i have in this customer table i drag and drop all the columns now i want to remove some uh, column names here so what i do here is i'll be removing some columns so i need customer key i take a customer key i need a geography key column i take this geography key and next i don't want customer alternate key i don't want title i remove these two columns and i want to give i want to take first name middle name and the last name so i want to combine all these three names i take it as first name plus middle name plus last name as a full name i'll give an alias as full name i am taking it as as full name now i am giving name style i don't require birth date i don't require so i remove it marshal status is fine i don't want suffix i remove this one i need gender column email address it's fine yearly income total children all this particular columns i don't require i remove all the columns i remove the columns still here spanish occupation even i don't require all this phone numbers address line i remove all the columns so i have taken till address only these particular columns from which table from uh, dim customer table i write from from dim customer table now in this particular first name i'll be using isnal function generally this isnal function is going to remove the constant value Uh, it returns the constant value when the column contains the null value so i take uh, the first name i write comma i give an empty space and i want to give the spaces between the first name middle name and last name so i use this particular uh, space uh, function again i use a isnal function like isnal function generally we use like whenever the column contains the null value it returns a constant value when i use isnal function i take middle name again i write a uh, space plus isnal function i am taking last name i keep a bracket over here and i close this i have missed an so now i execute this proc incorrect syntax near dim customer yeah we need to write end then i execute this particular query yeah the proc got executed now you can go with the dim uh, you refresh it once you refresh go with the tables not tables go with the programmability you can see a stored proc name like usp customer i go with the programmability you go with the stored procedure 
and this is the proc name now i want to execute this proc so how i'm going to execute the proc with exec command execute and you can directly copy this proc name and try to execute now you can see the columns like customer key geography key you can have a full name column marital status gender email address now you need to copy this query into the power bi so i copy this particular query go to the power bi go to this advanced option sql statement paste the query you can also paste the query or you can also write execute command directly i'm writing execute command and i click on okay so you are getting the data from the stored procedure now click on load so now we got this uh, table name as query 1 where you got all the columns whatever we have written in that particular sql server as a query now you can rename this query 1 as customer table now i am taking it as a customer table now the table is ready the data set is ready now once the data set is ready now you can create beautiful visualizations now you can check in the data modeling you can see the data modeling like both the tables have one to many relationship automatically the power bi is going to show the relationship between the tables now when i click on table view you can see the data so in a table view now you can see a data like when i click on geography you can see whatever the columns we have taken like when you go with the customer table uh, you can see what are the columns uh, we have taken now we have uh, taken as a full name customer key that data you can see it in the uh, table view now uh, you can create beautiful visualizations in the report view now the date once the data set is ready now you can create beautiful visualizations that we have seen by taking an import mode now let's see a small example by taking with a direct query mode now i want to use uh, data connectivity mode using direct query for that what i do is again i'll be taking the data from the excel for that i'll be taking a database from amazon database i'll be taking an amazon database and i'll be extracting some tables from the amazon database to get into the power bi so these are the tables we have like category master customer master product master and the sales table where i want to get this tables into the power bi so for that i open the power bi uh, instead of applying all the transformations uh, let us think that it is a clean data finally i want to load that particular data into the power bi so i click on get data i click on sql server and i give the server name as dot and i'll be using the database name as amazon database I'll be copying this database name and I'll be giving the database name as Amazon database and I'll be using a direct query mode so generally we use direct query like whenever we want to get the data from the databases only direct query is used only uh, for the databases query means it's a uh, querying language it is going to extract the data only from the databases so like sql server or oracle or any rdbm softwares uh, we can extract the data by using a direct query mode it is not used for the excel sheets because query is a language which is used in databases only so i use a direct query query and generally we use a direct query when we have more amount of data like when we have more than 10 gb of data we use a direct query so i'll be showing one example by taking that amazon database tables into the power bi by clicking on direct query mode and i click on okay button so now you can see this is a database name called amazon and you can see all the tables which are there in this particular database now i am taking few tables like category master customer master product master and the sales table like whenever i am clicking on this particular tables and when i click on load directly i am going to load the data from this one to the power pivot so i click on load button now when i use a load button here you can see uh, there is no data you can see only a table schema that we can observe now all the tables are getting loaded into the power pivot model that is into the ram all the four tables so now we can see all the tables got loaded so it is not going to load any data here 
but it is going to have only a table schema that is the table name and columns name now if you see here now when i use a direct query as a data connectivity mode there is no data here we can see a data modeling part that when i click on this data modeling you can see the table names like i have taken category master table what are the columns which are present in this particular table like we have a table name we have a column names we can have a table name and we can have a column names but when i go we don't have a data part previously we have seen a table view in the previous case but when i use a direct query mode there is no table view or a data view where we cannot see a data but we can see the table schema that is the table names and column names and here now we can create a beautiful visualizations now in uh, so to do a beautiful visualization i go to a power view and uh, i create one beautiful visualization here i'll be taking this um, stacked bar chart i have taken the stacked bar chart now what i do here is i go with the columns i drag and drop the sales amount uh, in this uh, values and i go with the city wise sales amount like i want to show a visualization based on city wise sales amount so i go with the customer master table where i have a city so i take city wise sales amount uh i keep it over here i keep the sales amount next axis now you can see a city say city wise sales amount i do some formatting the basic formatting Uh, where I may give a data label on. I give the border on. Okay, I have done a small uh, formatting. Now this is a beautiful visualization. What I have created. The visualization mainly shows like city by sales amount. so if we observe here even though we don't have data here it can go and get the data from the actual sql server which is going to be firing the query so it is what exactly it is doing here it is going to join the customer master table and the sales table based on the common column and it is going to bring the data which is uh, going to be very very slow so if you see here this data is not going to come from the it, this data is not coming from the ram this data is coming from the hard disk that is database a query will get get fired in the customer master table and the sales table will be joined internally in the power bi and the query is launched in the sql server database and brings the data so it will become slower slow, so it will become slow but don't, but i don't have any other option when we have so much amount of data importing cannot be used i have to get only the column names i have column names here but i cannot see the data so with the help of column names when i am dragging and dropping internally a query direct query means power bi is right getting a query and executing a query in the sql server and getting the data and bringing the data we know how to write a query instead of we writing a query here power bi is writing a query and getting the data let's see to get the same data in the sql server so what i do is in the sql server i point to a database called amazon i write use amazon database i'll be writing the query to get the same data use amazon database and i click on go now i'll be writing like a select star from first i take this table as a customer master table i go with the tables i drag and drop a customer master table if you see here there is a city column in this particular table i want to get city wise sales amount now again i go with the select star from uh, sales table now where the sales amount is there in this particular table you can see the sales amount let us execute both the queries now i want to get city wise sales amount so for this i need to join both the tables to join both the tables what i do here is i you will be using an inner join i take customer master as c join sales table as b i am taking as a sales table as b now i am joining as yes i take it as s i am joining both the tables so you can see all the columns sales table as s we need to take a common column on what are the common columns in both the tables i take c dot customer id equal to s dot 
customer ID. Now you can see all the matched data from both the tables because I am writing it as an inner join. You get the match data, but I require only the city by sales amount. So for that, I need to use a group by clause. I write city, comma. I write sum of sales amount. The column name I'm taking it as sum of sales amount as sales, and I'll be using group by clause, group by city. Now if you observe here, if when I execute this query, I get city by sales amount. Now even if I see this particular visualization where it is going to show city by sales amount, but I am going to see the, it is doing the sorting, the highest value is shown in the top. To show the highest value, what I take is, I take it as order by, order by sales, I take descending. And I execute this query. Now you can see the highest sales. The same query in the form of visualization, you can see it over here. So this is what we are showing the same uh, query in the form of visualization. And we are showing the same thing in the form of a table. Now, uh, so that is the beauty here. So instead of we writing a query, Power BI is firing the query. It is getting the data. It is sorting the data based on the sales amount and everything. Let us see one more visualization. I take a simple card visualization. This is a card visualization where I'll be dragging the sales amount here. So you can see the sum of sales amount. I go to the format painter. I do it. Now if you want to see the same query in the SQL server, what we write here is, I write it as select sum of sales amount As sales and giving an alias for this from which table from sales table now if you execute you get the same thing the same thing you can see in the form of visualization so that is the beauty about it likewise we can create each and every visualization instead of we writing a query power bi is writing a query and getting the data from the sql server thank you